Hello and welcome back to my vlog, 26th day of the 30 day mental diet. You can avoid old age. You are as old as you think you are. For all practical purposes it is the nature of your thinking that determines the aging of your body because thought influences the functions of the body. A negative pattern of thought can slow down or inhibit the action of any organ or process so that it shows evidence of what is termed old age. The body is always young. A very interesting thing about the body is that the material which comprises it, the various atoms which constitute the cells that in turn make up the body structure, are being continually replaced. Various studies made by medical researchers indicate that at most no part of the body is over a year old. There, are, there is a continual process of new material being incorporated in and as the body and old material being discarded. From this point of view it is obvious that it is not the body itself which ages. <clears throat> the body's pattern. That there is a pattern according to which the body conforms there is no doubt. There would have to be or else the food which you eat could never become the cells and structure of your body. No healing could take place and no renewal could ever be effected. The idea of body, the pattern, does not change. Neither does the law through which it is projected into manifestation. So you find that both the primary cause and the means of its becoming tangible are timeless factors and universal in their effectiveness. What grows old? The material which constitutes the body is constantly new. The manner in which it becomes the physical structure of the body is in accord with the great law of life which never lessens in its action. At this point you find yourself confronted with the unique question, what does grow old? Not that there are not other factors involved, but the main thing which can influence the degree of aging that you experience is the process of your own thought. Theoretically your body should not grow old, but you can and do permit your thinking about it to age, which is of course reflected in its functioning. The body is a mirror. Many a person at 40 appears and acts as a person of 80 and on the other hand you see a person at 80 who has more vitality than a person of 40. The source of such differences is found in the way the individual thinks. Many people feel that the age of 50 is the dividing line, that this is the point when old age starts and of course the result is that at 50 they do enter old age. You seem to be as old or as young as you think you are. At most any point in life you can introduce into your body the evidence, evidences of old age by what you think about yourself. What counts is not what you see in the mirror but what you mentally want to see in it. A better picture. You need to establish a better mental picture of yourself, a picture of the way you want yourself to be not of what you fear you will become. There is a natural process of maturing involved in all living things but there is no reason why you should hasten or prematurely develop an advanced state of senility when you obviously should have many more years of happy living ahead of you. There is also the fact that you should ignore the evidence of statistics that certain things happen to most people at certain ages. You are yourself and not most people and what happens to your body is directly related, related to what you think of yourself. There is no necessity for your physical condition to follow any statistical average. Does thinking age? If it is your pattern of thinking that is largely, largely responsible for the age you appear to be, then there is, then is there anything in the nature of thought itself which ages? Most evidence indicates that the ability to think does not age or deteriorate. Rather, the contrary appears to be the case. Some research has indicated that there is an active maturity of thinking that can only be attained after 50 when most people are ready to give up and quit. There's also evidence that people who think in a creative and constructive manner live longer than others. A youthful mind. The minute you cease being mentally alive your body reflects this pattern of thought and begins to slow up and become sluggish in its action and old age sets in. If you can train yourself to be active and productive in the way you think and maintain a concept of a healthy vital body, the body itself will readily conform to the pattern you have established for it. A youthful, active mind is your insurance against what other, others experience as old age. Mental stimulants. Science. 
I am sure we could still enormously lengthen the average human lifespan by living in better harmony with natural laws. We can do ourselves a great deal of good in this respect by just yielding to our natural cravings for variety in everyday life. Hans Selye Philosophy It is impossible to detach God from the world. God is the sustainer of body as well as its inner guide. Sarvapali Radhakrishnan Religion Behold, I make all things new. Revelation 21.5 the diet. Within the mind of God and the action of the law of life, there is nothing that can age. All the material substance which constitutes my body is ever available to it, and the laws that govern my body's functioning never cease their action. Life knows what to do and how to do all that is needed for the full expression of itself through me. I accept the action of life as what I am, continually and vitally renewing and sustaining itself. I no longer condemn myself by what I think to a present or approaching experience of old age. I now release all previous concepts of myself which have inhibited the normal, natural action of vital living. Mentally, I keep myself alive, alert, and productive. The mind of God never exhausts itself. Its action as my mind is ever fresh, keen, and wholesome. And my body is a reflection of the nature of my thinking. I release my body from adherence to any negative thoughts I may have had about it and leave it free to conform to the great law of life that continually renews it. Capsule Supplement I now determine that my thoughts shall contain nothing that is contrary to the vital and ever new expression of life in me. I discard all ideas of old age and affirm that my body is healthy, normal, and active. Today. I will apply this idea to these aspects of my thoughts and actions. Fill in the blank. My particular problem, condition, or situation which it can be used to correct is... Fill in the blank. 27th day tomorrow, stop being sick. Make it a great day, and bye for now.